everybody, welcome to Marvin Family Fun Video. So I'm back from a very long break and I'm going to make one of my favorite foods, Barani. I mostly recommend Bombay Barani. So let's get started to making it. I have a whole chicken, 15 pieces. Now I'm going to put it into the pan. I have the spice. I'm going to put all of the spice. The whole packet. Make sure it's not empty. So it's going to have better spicy taste. I love spicy food. That's why I like Barani. Then you're going to chop tomatoes, two tomatoes, and then put it in the... Now you're going to get two tablespoons of yogurt and put it in the chicken. Now I'm going to put some mint leaves. You can put as many as you want, but not too much, then it won't taste good. Now I'm going to put some coriander leaves. I put a lot because I like leaves. Now we're going to get some chili and put some chili. That's a lot of chili. I got four cinnamon sticks and now I'm going to add some cinnamon sticks. Now I'm going to put some cardamom. Now you're going to put some cloves. Now I'm going to put three bay leaves. It doesn't matter what the size is. I have one big cardamom and the parents. Now I'm going to put them here. Now I'm going to put half teaspoon turmeric powder. Spread it out a little bit. Half teaspoon of chili powder. Make sure to not put it in your eyes. It's very dangerous. Now I'm going to put one teaspoon of cumin powder. Now I'm going to put three tablespoon of ghee. Now I'm going to put another tablespoon of ghee. Make sure it doesn't stick to the leaves. Mm. Now I put three tablespoons of ghee. Now it's done. You only have to put three tablespoons. So everybody, this is my bard. Kiu, I introduce him to you. Say hi, Kiu. Okay, I have one cup of extra virgin oil and if you don't have it, then you can use any oil like sunflower oil. Make sure to spread it out so that it's going to be more yummy. Now I'm going to pour some lemon juice, only one tablespoon. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm going to put one cup of onion fry. Spread it out very well. So you don't need salt because Barani spice already has a salt in it. So we need to mix it very well. So you need to mix it very well and also I'm going to leave it for two hours and then I'm going to show you guys how to cook it. Okay, so now I'm going to close it and then when the masala goes into the chicken two hours later, then it's going to be very juicy and then we're going to show you how to cook it. And also I have my bird Kiu, she's also going to be cooking with us. Now we're going to make the barani rice. You need three cups of rice. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, now I'm done putting three cups of rice. Now, you need to put this in water and wash it very well. Okay, guys, now we're going to wash it. And make sure to put cold water. Make sure to wash it three, four times until the water gets clear. So I'm done washing it. I have to wash it five times. Now you need to let it sit in the water for 30 minutes. Okay guys, now it's time to ready the potato. We already have it cut here. Now I'm going to put some salt. And now I'm going to put some food coloring. Now I need to mix it very well. I'm going to use a spoon because if the food coloring goes onto my hand, then it's going to stick a lot. I start to mix it well. And also the food color is for it to look kind of good. If you don't want to put it, you don't have to. Now I'm done mixing it. You have to mix it very well. So I'm going to leave this for 10 minutes. So the food coloring and the salt goes into it. And we have to ready some water, magic water. And we have to put it into the brownie. Now you need one cup of hot milk. Now I'm going to put one tablespoon of rose water. Now I'm going to pour the rose water. Now I'm going to put one tablespoon of kara water. Now I'm going to pour the kara water. Now I'm going to put two tablespoons of ghee. Now I'm done putting two tablespoons of ghee. Now I'm going to put a little bit of food coloring. Now mix it super duper well. Make sure it doesn't spill. Okay, so we are done mixing it. Now we're going to put it in the corner just like the potato and now we're going to go check on the rice okay everybody so the rice is ready and now we're going to drain out the water and then we're going to put it into the marinade chicken everybody so it's been over two hours and now we're going to put everything in the chicken to make it first we're going to start with the potatoes make sure to put it nicely and spread it out the potato looks super uh, yummy Okay, so we're done spreading out the potatoes. Now I'm going to put all of the rice into the marinated chicken. So now I'm going to pour one magic water. It's super magic. 
You are really lucky that I told you how to make this because now it's going to taste super yummy. Okay, we're done putting the magic water. So now we're going to pour some onion fries, just like the butt chicken. Spread it out very good. It looks super yummy, right guys? And that sound is real satisfying. Now I'm going to go cooking. We're ready to cook it. I'm going to cook this on medium heat for five minutes and then we're going to put this on low heat for 45 minutes because if we put it on medium heat for 45 minutes it's going to burn and nobody likes burnt food so it's been 45 minutes and now let's see if my varani is ready wow it's ready it looks super super yummy also guys make sure to use bath smaki rice okay oh it looks so yummy I'm going to show it to you guys and eat it. I think it's going to be very yummy. Where's my potato? I like potato. There my potato. Wow guys, look how good the chicken looks. It's it's very juicy. Wow. Now I need one lime, and then after I have the lime, now I'm going to go eat it! Okay guys, so now let's open the 7-Up. I'm a master can opener. Thank you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now let's eat the brand. Mmm, it's so yummy. Also, if you want to see my other videos, please subscribe, like, and if you think my videos are good, please comment and also hit the notification bell. And also, you guys should try this recipe. It's super good. Even you agree. Okay, bye everyone! See you, bye!